Welcome viewers to this edition of Q&A with Stock Pell. Today with the Executive Chairman of Magnus Energy Technologies, Frank Paulus with us. Hey Frank, how are you doing today? Yeah, good Jared. How are you? Thank you so much for this opportunity. That's good to hear. Perhaps to give the viewers a good head start, could you tell us what is the whole company all about? Yeah, so it's a very exciting vertically integrated lithium ion battery um, company. So we are involved from the mining of certain raw materials to technology, uh, where we have ownership in an entity that's a battery technology company, all the way down to cell manufacturing, where you're producing the cells, the lithium ion batteries themselves. So all the way across, which is quite unique in the marketplace. Right. And during this COVID-19 pandemic, how is the company actually coping? Well, it's actually been a very busy time for us as we're going towards production uh, in our New York battery plant. Uh, we're only weeks away from commercial production um, at the plant, which has capacity of just under two gigawatt hours, uh, which makes it one of the largest plants in the US. So for us, uh, during COVID, it's actually been extremely busy for us. That sounds great. And uh, just to walk us through, what are the current projects that you guys are, work are working on? For the time being, the main project is the New York battery plant that uh, is, as I mentioned, uh, close to production. We also have a mine in uh, Tanzania, which is a graphite project. Uh, obviously, graphite being one of the key ingredients uh, in the lithium ion battery. And then there's sort of a Greenfields project being our Townsville battery plant, uh, but that's very early stage. Right. Speaking of production, could you walk through the rough timeline and what should uh, investors be looking out for? So as I mentioned previously, Jared, uh, our commercialization or commercial production of our plant in New York will begin by the end of this year mm -hmm. and then sort of scales up to a fully automated production uh, around about second quarter of next year. Um, so it's very exciting. It's, it's been literally from the technology side of things, roughly about 12 years to get to where we are today for the production. From a Magnus side of things and for this whole New York project, uh, it's from sort of inception of the idea, it's roughly been about six years uh, to get to where we are today. So a lot of hard work, uh, but we're, you know, about to sort of bear uh, the, our, our fruits now with, you know, getting into production. Right, glad I catch you guys at the right time. And just to elaborate further, what would you say is Magnus Energy's competitive advantage among the players? I think it's the uniqueness of the of the company where I know in on the Australian Stock Exchange, I don't think there's anyone who has involvement from mine to battery tech to actually producing the batteries themselves. So I think the uniqueness where you have sort of that end-to-end -end, um, involvement in the supply chain and manufacturing at the end. Uh, secondly, near-term revenues. So we're not talking about years away from revenues, we're talking months away um, from significant revenue starting. And, and the, uh, the plan is to scale the project up exponentially very quickly. Uh, and, and that's the plan. And right, lastly, how are you guys actually uh, engaging the investors right now? Well, a lot of it, as you can imagine, is done um, more um, virtually, uh, done on the web through interviews like this. Uh, so uh, it, obviously uh, in Sydney, we've been in lockdown for a long period of time and are sort of just coming out now. So uh, during the whole COVID uh, period, most of the sort of engagements being done virtually. Right, sounds really good. And for viewers who are keen on the Magnus Energy story, the ticker is AXXMNS. And thanks again, Frank, for being with us today. Thank you, Jared. Really appreciate the opportunity.